Good evening, Arlington Democrats. I'm Elisa Cowan, and I am truly honored to have the privilege of introducing James Lander tonight. James grew up in Philadelphia as the older of two children, and his father was a neighborhood civic association president. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? James attended and graduated from Massachusetts Marine Maritime Academy with a BS in Marine Engineering. And after working for many years, he returned to college and earned a master's degree in systems engineering from the University of Virginia. James served as an officer in the United States Navy, both on active duty and in the reserves for a total of 22 years of service. He is a Gulf War veteran and was recalled to active service after September 11. I want to thank you for your service and your dedication to our nation. When James and his wife, Monica, and their daughter, Kirsten, moved from Philadelphia to Arlington, they first lived in Fillmore Gardens, just down the street. And James threw himself into volunteering at Jefferson Middle School in order to assist in her transition. Along the way, James started a mentoring program for middle school boys of color and was the outreach coordinator for Arlington Democrats. And by the way, my AARP card gives me 30 cents. <laughs> when he wasn't volunteering, James worked as the National League for Goodwill Industries International's Veteran Military Family Services. He currently is the chair of the Arlington School Board and the director of Military Saves. Check out the website, militarysaves.org. It is my distinct pleasure tonight to introduce to you James F. Slander. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Can you guys hear me in the back? Excellent. I want to thank Elisa for her kind words and her continued support. I sincerely appreciate you sharing this evening with me. I'm excited. This is an opportunity for me to submit my name for consideration for the Arlington County Board. I'm excited because this is a historic time in our wonderful community. This is a time for bold, experienced, reform-minded leadership. I am that leader. I am that reform candidate. My wife and I know that Arlington is a special place to live, to work, and to raise a family. We also know that we're facing unprecedented challenges in our community. The explosion of our school age population requiring more classrooms, the decline in our non-residential tax revenue, maintaining a green and open space as we grow as a community, finding new and creative ways to provide affordable housing, and recommitting to a robust community dialogue that, so that more of our fellow students, I mean, excuse me, students, more of our fellow citizens will believe in the Arlington way and not just an outdated slogan. The good news is we have resources, wonderful resources here in Arlington. Great schools, a solid residential tax base, and prime areas for increased economic development. As your county board member, I will bring a bold vision that will propel us forward and make Arlington more competitive for future economic growth by prioritizing the retention of our businesses that are here and focusing on drawing new companies into Arlington. With my experience as a systems engineer, I will be results oriented and focused on feasible solutions, exploring low cost ways to improve the process in which businesses interact with our county government. Having served in a leadership role on the board in the past two years, I am intimately familiar with the relationship between our two elected bodies. As your county board member, I will support our schools by maximizing existing facilities. As a steward of your tax dollars, I understand that we cannot afford to build enough facilities, nor fast enough to accommodate our enrollment crisis. We must be more creative and innovative in our thinking and our approach. As your county board member, I am committed to our shared values, not just in my words. As chair of the Arlington School Board, I've written a letter to Richmond.
standing up for our undocumented students, advocating for them to have in-state tuition. Arlington's future economic viability depends on us leveraging the strength of our diverse community, our young families, our seasoned residents, our immigrants, our women, our teachers, our LGBT citizens, and our service workers. I am committed to providing affordable housing maintaining our inclusive community and welcoming folks from across the country and across the world. Arlington is a place to live, is a place to work, is a place to play, invest, and most importantly, Arlington is a place to stay. From one end of the county to the other, I have met with hundreds of parents, civics leaders, and others who know firsthand that I am a good listener even when the conversation is difficult. How we make decisions in Arlington, encouraging a truly respected citizen participation is the key to good, effective government. Arlington residents must believe that their voice is heard in the government decision-making process. And they will have a voice when I'm on the county board. As your county board member, I will not tolerate the status quo. I will make principled decisions based on what's best for our community, even if it means being the lone dissenting voice, as I've done, when appropriate, as your school board member. I love living in Arlington. And after having served in the military, Monica and I have made Arlington our home. And I have been proud to serve at every level outreach coordinator for the steering committee, multiple PTAs, the building level planning committee for Wakefield High School. I'm excited to have the opportunity to submit my name for consideration to serve as your next county board member. I'm excited because this is a historic time in our wonderful county where bold, experienced, reform-minded leadership can truly make a difference. I am that leader. You have honored me with your trust on two occasions, and I thank you for electing me to the school board. I thank you for your encouragement and your words along this journey. I'm asking you now for your support for my candidacy, and I'm asking you for your trust again and your vote on June 9th to serve as your next Arlington County Board member. Thank you.